Hey y'all, what's up? This your boy Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. I just saw Iron Man 2. And my favorite part of the movie was War Machine. So, get back here in a few seconds. I'm going to show y'all how to draw War Machine. Hey guys, before we get started, I first want to thank DickBlick.com for sponsoring this video. Check them out for all your cool art supply needs. Alright, um, today we're going to be drawing on Bristol board paper. This is what professional comic book and manga artists draw their comics on. We're going to start out with the 10% cool gray marker. And we're going to be using all kinds of gray markers today. This will be a gray marker rendering. So here I'm going to start out, as usual, with the sphere and drawing War Machine's head. Um, he has the same proportions as a regular human head. You just have to draw the details um, of where his eye line is and his nose line and his mouth line are under the mask. Well, you have to draw that first before you can even draw the mask itself. Um, as always, guys, remember, stick with the basics. Don't go putting in details before you lay a good foundation for your artwork. So, I'm um, getting a little bit darker and darker with the 10% gray marker here. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to something a little bit darker with the 20% grayscale marker. And by the way, these are uh, cool gray markers. You can find these at Dick Blick. They're really cool to get um, some nice quick sketches out of. I don't uh, sketch enough with these uh, markers. They're really fun to use. And I recommend you guys try it. You don't have to always sketch with pencils. Use other mediums. Sketch with ink pens. Sketch with markers. Um, this is really cool to sketch with too. So just getting in his um, more, a little bit more and more gradual details on his helmet here and getting some of the darker parts as well. You want to start out very light like I did with the 10% marker and get gradually darker with the 20% grayscale marker. And now I'm going to be switching over to the Micron 3, the uh, thin pen, and start adding in some of his uh, details and making them pop out. This is where you want to take your time and be very steady. But once you put it down, there is no going back. Well, you could do some correction, but it's, uh, it's not as easy as my other post-it trick that I showed you guys in the past. And just take your time. No rush with it. Uh, make sure you, uh, if you have to, practice how you, you know, use the pen, what kind of stroke you give it. Just take your time with it. No rush whatsoever. But sketching with markers, I really, you know, do enjoy seeing that bold line put down with the uh, markers and with the microns. They really do work well and make the drawing just kind of like, they almost give it its own life. I mean, pencils can do that too, of course, but with these markers, they tend to give you, um, it just makes the drawing just pop out. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> so here I'm just going to put in some of his uh, more details with the uh, Micron 05. A little bit thicker pen. So it's where I want to show a little bit more uh, thicker, blacker line. I could just go over it with the 03 Micron, but... It just makes more sense to use the, the black. And the Bristol board is nice too because it soaks up the pen and the, um, the ink uh, from the pen just fine. Now I'm going to go back to my 20% gray marker and start putting in some of the more darker spots on his um, helmet. Let me take my time just putting it in there. Making sure that I leave white spots in it also and I'm going to gradually get darker here using the 30% so you start light and get gradually darker and darker and darker and as you can see you can't probably even see you know the 10% uh, that I used to sketch with earlier so 
So I used a 50%, now I'm back to a 40%. So as you can see, I'm using different um, shades of the cool gray set and the microns to put, you know, different um, shadows and details on his helmet and just swap back and forth. There really is no set way to um, progress in the drawing except for just start, you know, light and get darker. You can flip flop him back, back forth between, you know, the markers, the pens, and experiment. Experiment with which ones work best for you in whatever you're drawing. I love these cool grays. As soon as I saw the movie, I was like, yeah, War Machine, that's a, he had the coolest costume. In my opinion, he, his costume is better than Iron Man's. So, I just got excited to see, you know, his, his design, his detail. The uh, concept artist on the movie really, really did a cool job on uh, fleshing out his uh, armor. So I hope we see more of him in the, uh, the next movies to come. And a little bit more right here, um, just refining it, a little bit more and more detail in the helmet. Like I said, just keep the white parts, you know, empty for where you want the shine to be. And now I'm getting more on his uh, shoulders and his chest area and his um, his gun that hangs off of his uh, his back. And putting in the the, the darkest parts right here, uh, giving it more of a outline with the, the microns fleshing it out and when you guys draw with these just feel free to mess up you'll start over mess up you know just mess up and you'll trust me you'll mess up less and less over time so that's the good thing about these things it's just fun to just draw with the markers as opposed to drawing with a pencil or um, a blue pencil which is what I use most of the time so I'll be using, incorporating more and more of these markers into my, so some of my artwork. And now I'm just tweaking it, putting in, you know, making the dark parts very dark so the light parts can pop out. I'm going to go back in and put some detail on his eyes and on his helmet and just more on his armor overall, going from light to dark, light to dark markers. So that's War Machine. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys ready for a prize giveaway? Well, check this out. One random lucky winner will win their very own Create Your Own Comic Book Drawing Kit, courtesy of DickBlick.com. This thing has everything in it. Check it out. You get four layout pages for your rough sketches, two concept sketch pages for your characters, 12 Bristol board pages to draw your comics on, 20 trading cards for you to draw on, and 3 Pigma Micron pens. And here's what you have to do to win. Subscribe to Cartoon Block. Subscribe to Dick Blick's channel. Rate and favorite this video. Who do you like better, Iron Man or War Machine? Leave it in the comments below. Deadline is Friday, June 25th.